is Moon Seeker of Light Guardian. Today I'm doing a Divine Masculine in a Karmic Relationship reading. So let's see what's going on for the Divine Masculine this week. What is going on for the Divine Masculines in a Karmic or Third Party situation? They're facing some fears have to do with how they love and how they their feelings towards love they realize that pain is not love pain is not uh, what's supposed to be the understanding that love shouldn't hurt let's see what else what else is going on for divine masculine in karmic or third party situations divine masculine in karmic or third party situations Divine Masculines in Karmic or Third Party Situations. Okay, that's all. We have here obsessive. So they're obsessing over something or someone. Or even, it could be a person, place, a thing, but they're being obsessive. They're in an obsess obsessive type of energy. They can't let go of something. They're hyper-focused on that one thing. It's keeping them shackled. It's keeping them feeling shackled and bound to perhaps this connection or some other connection or this thing that they're obsessing over. We have here unhealed. They're doing this because they're unhealed and they need to really look at this thing so they can start healing it, start transforming it and releasing it for good. This is bringing about a lot of shame. If you can see that there, it says shame. Um, but it's really invoking these energies of um, of shame within them. Um, so what are they obsessing over? Whatever they're obsessing over is also depleting them. The sh whatever they're shackled to is, is teaching them how to break free. They're going to find a way to break free from this. Whatever is unhealed has to do with unhealthy boundaries. Whatever's bringing them shame is part of their journey, part of their path. This is the path they need to take to get to a certain place. And again, we have here fear. Love shouldn't hurt. It's all about their fears. Their fears when it comes to this thing. So they're obsessing over something and they're, and they're feeling depleted. Also has to do with new beginnings, new passion beginnings here with this Ace of Wands here. Bringing the spark back to something, reigniting the flame. So depleted, we have here the Four of Swords and the King of Wands. So the Four of Swords is all about taking that time out to rest, to contemplate, to rejuvenate, like really take that time to, uh, apologies for the background noise, um, taking the time out to really um, think about this thing. What they're, what they're being obsessed about is about this, this, this um, they have hit an obstacle. They have hit a speed bump and they cannot see a way past this. They cannot see a way to overcome this obstacle. The king of wands is someone who's a leader, someone who's worldly, someone who overcomes obstacles. Right now they can't and they're obsessing over this speed bump. They're obsessing over this this obstacle and the more they obsess over it, the more they pour in their energy into it, the more they get depleted. What they need to do in order to, to stop obsessing and overcome this is to rest. They need to be in this four of swords energy and rest. The more they obsess, the more depleted they get. The more depleted they get, the more they go into this vicious circle, this this place where they can't get rest, where they can't overcome this obstacle. So they just get stuck. So divine masculines are really, I feel like, in their headspace. They're in their headspace and they can't really loop themselves out of this thing. They feel bound, they feel shackled. But there's something here that's going to help them to break free. The wheel is going to start turning in their favor. They are going to get to a place where they will loop out of this. They'll break this loop because this is the thing. Fate has stepped in. The universe is helping them unshackle themselves, helping them break free from all of this. It is not for the highest and greatest good to be constantly depleted or constantly in this obsessive manner. They need to start healing. They need to start looking at their whatever is unhealed within them, whatever is you know, whatever unhealthy boundaries they have, as long as they keep um, obsessing over this obstacle, and this obstacle is different for each divine masculine, 
But as long as they keep obsessing over this, it could be obsessing over you, divine feminine. It could be obsessing over the karma of the third party, obsessing over money, obsessing over a job, obsessing over this, that, and the other. Anyway, so unhealed and un unhealthy boundaries. What is this that is unhealed? We have the king of pentacles here. So what is unhealed with them? We have two kings here. Is their power. They feel, they feel a loss of power because we have the, the two kings here. Um, and the king of pentacles is someone who's abundant. Someone who is uh, flourishing. Someone who is, you know, on top. Someone who who is in a mindset of, you know, things flow to me easily and, and effortlessly. I have everything around me. I'm abundant. I'm fulfilled. I have, I am the king. I am the queen, however you identify. But they are not putting up enough boundaries around themselves to be able to step into this king energy, into this power energy. They're not healed enough. When it comes to unhealed here, well, grab these cards that fell out. It's they need to go within. They need to go within and really find guidance and and answers and advice from within their intuition they need some time alone this could be that they need to to you know have time away from the divine feminine diet and time away from the third party of the karmic so they can stop with a sneaky behavior they can stop with a the deception they've been deceiving deceiving themselves when it comes to all this as well they've been deceiving themselves when it comes to that they're, they're being healed or that they are healed and whole and that they have healthy boundaries and all those things. It's time for them to strategize now. Put up a good strategy so they can get themselves out of this loop. They can unshackle themselves. So they can finally move forward here with the chariot. Move forward away from being stuck in the headspace. Stuck in this mind prison that they put themselves in. Stuck in this position where they think that they're a victim. Where they think that they're powerless. Where they think that they cannot step into the king's energy here. When it comes to shame and being part of the divine masculine's path, we have another seven here. Sevens are, are very much about um, a spiritual numbers. So they're going through some kind of spiritual awakening here. With a seven of wands, this is like, you know what? I finally know what I'm fighting for. I know what's worth fighting for. I know what's fight, what's worth defending. I'm going to fight. I'm going to stand. I'm going to fight for myself. I'm going to fight for myself because this is my path. I'm going to bring myself out of this. I'm going to be passionate about finding a way to put shame to rest. Because shame is a very uh, low vibrational energy. Shame is what brings people, drives people to do the unthinkable. Shame is what drives people to, to drown in in um, this feeling of unworthiness, this feeling of not wanting to keep going. So they're like, you know what, I'm going to fight this. I'm going to fight that energy because you know what, if this is my path. I, need to, I needed to learn about this. I needed to learn about the feelings of shame and how it does not serve me so I can move on to the next step. And they're going to do that. They're going to get themselves out of their head and keep fighting and move on move on towards the king of cups so now three kings have come out here so there's a lot of um energy here i feel like that you know it's that their power within is calling towards them calling towards them to really step step back in order to be able to step into their power so the king of cups here is someone who's in control someone who's balanced someone who's who's um very reserved with their feelings and expressing their emotions but they they allow their emotions to to flow they acknowledge their emotions they don't just um pack them away and not not deal with them we have the nine of pentacles another energy here about being uh, on your own being independent this is also a, a card of gratitude being gra grateful and reaping the rewards of all the hard work they're going to work on this they're going to break free and fight and they'll be in a position to reap the rewards from 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 healing this shame breaking free from the shackles of the page of cups and this is i feel it's self-love self-love in order for them to be able to step into the sunshine to the sun here to be able to really um work on their own inner happiness work on their sunshine work on their positivity on their self-fulfillment 
so they can then pour into themselves, bring an offer to themselves, an offer of a new beginning and a new beginning that is steeped in self-love. They're learning to love themselves is what I'm getting from this, from all of this here. And bottom of the deck here, we have death. So this is a, there's a massive death and rebirth going on for the Divine Masculines at the moment. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. But there's a massive transformation taking place. Death and rebirth. The death of this being obsessive, depleted, shackled, unhealed, steeped in shame to standing up, fighting for oneself, loving oneself, stepping into their power, stepping into the kings and queens that they are. So that is what's going on with the Divine Masculine in a karmic or third party situation. Let's get some messages for you from your Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. What messages does the Divine Masculine have for the Divine Feminine today? Messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Let's just take all of these. Wow, that's a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not ready to take off my mask. So they're still not ready to fully expose themselves to you, Divine Feminines. They're not ready yet to fully strip down naked mind, body, and soul. They want to get to a place when they take off the mask that they're going to be completely sure that you know this it, it's stuck this new transformation this new self this new self that loves themselves that is truly there to stay um they will have moments of back and forth back and forth they will have doubts they'll revert back but once it really sticks when they really start trusting and believing in themselves and the universe they'll be ready to take off their mask <laughs> I'm ready to take off my mask. So, interesting. I'm not ready to take off my mask. I'm ready to take off my mask. And I think it has to do with what I just said. Once they they um, feel like they have ruled it's truly stuck, that is when they will be ready. Right now, in this moment, now when you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, this is timeless, they are not ready to take off the mask. But they will be ready, like I said. And when they're ready, they will take off the mask because they will know that this transformation they've just been through, they have now, it has solidified within them, within the physical part, body, the emotional body, and they know that they were not going to revert back again to those things. They've done the whole back and forth, back and forth, the doubt thing. I had to learn my lessons. And this is all about learning the lessons. They have lessons they need to learn, this karma they need to clear. And this is all part of their journey, a part of their path. They suck the life out of me. I'm completely deplete, depleted. And yes, we saw that there with the uh, depleted card. And the obsessive card, um, this part of their obsession and why they're depleted is because they're trying to break free, but they can't. They're trying to get over this this uh, obstacle, and they're obsessing over trying to get over the obstacles. But the more they're obsessed, the more depleted they become. And the more depleted they, they are, the more the third party on karmic will jump on them and deplete them even more, making sure that they're stuck, making sure that they can't move, making sure that they can't heal. Because if they heal... The karmic of the third party loses out. It is not in the karmic of the third party's best interest that the divine masculine heals. When I think of how I treated you, I feel ashamed. I feel so ashamed. And this is because what they did, they did you wrong. They know that. They know they did you wrong. Then perhaps they've even apologized for it because they had so much shame. They, they felt like, or they feel like they're not ready to really broach that yet because of all the shame they feel because of all the guilt they feel but don't think that they don't think about it don't think that they're not apolog apologetic they are and they're going to get to a place where they can say this to you face to face i had some lessons to learn so i had to learn my lessons and i had some lessons to learn so these divine masculines had a lot a lot to unpack and this could be for you guys who have been in separation for a long long time know that this is taking so long because there's a lot of things that had to go old familiar patterns had to go, need to go these patterns are patterns they've had for lifetimes upon lifetimes you know 
And in the midst of all of that, in the midst of trying to heal and, and get rid of these patterns, they were like, you know, fuck it. I just want to do something else. I just want to have a good time. I just want to just have a good time, you know, be with this comic, be with this third party. Just forget about all the healing, soul healing you have to do, all the physical healing you have to do, all the emotional healing I have to do. With you, they couldn't do that because with you, they were faced with their mirror. They had to look themselves in the mirror all the time. So temptation led them there. Temptation led me here, led me to this place of good times. You know, I am broken, plain and simple. I am broken, but I'm going to heal. I am broken. Some of them are were broken and they've they already healed, but they're broken. And they didn't want to break you too. They don't, didn't want to be broken with you. They are so destructive. I know I need to walk away. And they're very much aware of this connection they have with this karmic or third party person. They know it's destructive. They know it's not healthy. But they're just like, you know, temptation led me here and now I'm here. And I'm broken. I don't have the energy or the capacity to really, really fight this at all. And we have here, lastly, I have accepted unhealthy boundaries for far too long. And unhealthy boundaries is part of what they need to heal right now. Part of their big, big lessons is this unhealthy boundaries. Unhealthy boundaries that just need to go. Because they they need, they've had these patterns going on for lifetimes now. And in this lifetime, I feel that they came into this lifetime to really, really heal those once and for all. So in the next lifetime, you guys have together, you guys can work on something else. So those are the messages they um, have for you today, Divine Feminines. Um, bottom of the deck here we have, it's not that I don't desire you. I just desired this more at, at the time because that was easier for them because they were broken. So before I finish this, I want to get do a pick a card for you guys. So this is your opportunity to ask the universe a yes and no question. I'm going to pull three cards. And those are gonna be your answers. So I'll timestamp this section for you guys. So it'll be in the comments or the description. So ask the universe a yes or no question. It can be about anything. It can be about um, your divine masculine. It can be about you know not your divine masculine. Whatever you want. I know you can come back to this reading another time and choose another number for something else. So yeah, just pause. If you need to but this is card number one this is card number two and this is card number three so take your time make your pick and i'm going to turn over the cards now so the answer for card number one is this yes but be careful the answer is yes but you know they're advising you to be careful because you know this is like be careful what you wish for because if this is what truly you truly want this is what you're gonna get and if you're not being specific you're gonna get it but it might not be entirely the way you want it to be card number two the answer is yes the answer is yes plain and simple card number three Ask again later. Now is not the time to answer your question. The, the stars have not aligned. The universe cannot give you an answer on this because they're still working on it. So for now, um, the answer is maybe because you need to ask again at a later time. So guys, that was today's reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. Also, I have one announcement. Um, I will be closing off personal readings from... Um, next week end of next week and i won't be opening up personal readings again until next year around probably march uh, so if you guys want to get a personal reading now is the time i do have a sale on uh, so do visit my website uh, themoonseeker.com all the information you need is in the description box below thank you again for watching i'll see you guys next time bye